Hi everyone, I'm Angela and welcome to Angela's Fashion Mix. I thank you for joining. If you are new, I appreciate you taking the time to stop by and see what's going on. If you've been with me since the beginning or in recent weeks, I appreciate you returning. So today is all about thrifting. I'm excited to share how I add to my wardrobe with some unique pieces at an affordable price. So have some shoes, some handbags, some jewelry, and I'm going to show you a few looks as well. So I'm going to start with what I have on. And what is thrifted here is everything except my top. You have heard me mention Kato in the past. I've had this top for about maybe seven or eight years. So some history there. But it still looks great. It washes well. It wears well. It's very comfortable. And I've decided to pair it with this skirt that I found recently that was I believe in the ballpark of $12. I got it at a consignment store and while I'm on that I will mention the difference between thrifting and consignment. Thrifting is I can take whatever I choose to a thrift store or to Goodwill. No questions asked. I'm over it. It's done. I get nothing in return. With consignment I'm taking pieces that the consigner is going to take a look at and determine whether or not they want to accept it and I will get paid for what they sell. So that is a little bit difference between thrifting and consignment, but both are great options when it comes to adding to your wardrobe. So this skirt was consigned. Again, it was about 12 bucks or so. And um, I recently got it. And when I saw it, this top immediately came to mind. But what I had not considered was my accessories. So after I got it home and just kind of start playing with it a little bit, I decided I wanted to add gold accessories to it. This bangle was thrifted. My shoes were, con con uh, were thrifted as well. And I'm going to show you a couple of bags in keeping with the gold. This was also thrifted. Now, my shoes I purchased from a an event several years ago it was kind of a fundraiser and I think it was through an organization called Sisters Network of Central Virginia they were having a, an outdoor fundraiser and it was a shoe drive and I found these shoes for five dollars there you go this bag I found at Goodwill for four dollars and this bag I found at a consignment store for eight dollars so these are both vintage so if you're into vintage styles thrifting and consignment is a great place to start to look so this just kind of completes the look and this would be appropriate for a wedding an outdoor garden event an evening event you could wear it to church if you chose with a jacket or not just a lot of flexibility on how you pull this look together so that's it with my gold. Oh, I will also mention my necklace is also thrifted. Now, what I where I got this necklace is I'm, I'm gonna make it quick. I was on Facebook Marketplace and I came across jewelry, a bag of jewelry for ten dollars. So when I went to make the purchase, there was a big Ziploc bag of just random pieces. So. I, thrift, I shifted through it, some donated, some I threw away, some I consigned, and some I kept. So I kept about 10 pieces out of there, and this is one of those pieces. And ultimately, for the amount of jewelry that was in the bag, this was probably about 15 cents. And also, my earring. So you've heard me mention paparazzi in the past. $5 jewelry is what they're known for. Great quality but they also have a line called Z Collection, Z-I, and that waterfall pearl necklace in the back is part of that collection. Well, one of my um, Facebook friends is a paparazzi representative, and last week, maybe two weeks ago, she had a dollar sale, a $1 sale, which is where I got these earrings. So my whole look here with the bag, head to toe, is probably $35, maybe. 
and I don't think I did too bad. What do you think? So let's move along. You've seen these before. I showed these with regard to Easter, and I also showed these, um, I believe, during the holiday. They were thrifted. They were about, they were under $6. I recently found these. They were thrifted. They were $6. And I got these at a consignment store. They were $16. They are by White House Black Market. And they were $16. So moving on to the handbags, I'm just going to run through those really quickly. It has a chain in the leopard print here. I found this is really cute. And these bags that I'm showing you, uh, a couple of them were hitting the $20, $25 price point, And I'll verify those. But other than that, these bags were ranging between 5 and 6 5 and 6 or $7. How cute is that with the handle? Very versatile. You can wear it as under the arm or you can carry it by the handle, of course. I love this. Very cute. And this was from the little vintage store I frequent. Nice little handle there. You've seen this one before. I showed this one around Easter. Really cute. That was $10. And it came with the chain. And I'm actually planning to add something here to coordinate with the chain. Just to kind of dress it up a little bit more. This was $4. Very cute. After five, it has the long strap there. There you go. You know, that's, that's why I shop. Thrift and consignment. Really cute. You've seen this one before. This one was $4, and it has the long chain as well. And this is a vintage bag. I don't remember what I paid, but it was, in, it was under $10 for vintage. And this one, I haven't seen anything like it. It's vintage, and you see the mirror there. You see the back. And someone asked me, I've had the question a few times, where do I shop? And the answer to that is everywhere. I'm not really selective in terms of where that is. And this bag I actually found in a local salon that does braid and weave. It's Georgette Braid and Weave. And she also has clothing and accessories and shoes at her salon and that's where I got this it was $20 and it's vintage also I found this cute little number at the same location and it was practically new I I saw this and I had to have it and I want to show you one thing when I saw this I realized that I have a pair of earrings that will go with this bag. So when I saw this, this is what I saw together. Remember I mentioned my representative that sells the paparazzi jewelry? At the same time I got the earrings that I'm wearing, I got these and they were one dollar. I'm not kidding you, they were a dollar. So moving on, there is a, an antique store ne near me. Um, they primarily sell uh, a hodgepodge of things, like I guess most, but they don't specialize in furniture and they don't specialize in anything. They have some of everything. And I found these there for $15. Can't wait to find that ensemble that these are gonna complement. I am excited about that. So I, in that bag that I told you about, <clears throat> of the jewelry that I got for $10, I also got in that bag these necklaces. And they are going to be so very versatile, so very useful. I'm going to get a lot of wear out of them. Look at that. So again... 
for that bulk bag of ten dollars these are pennies and also in that bag were a few of these these came in that bag two of them are identical one of them is a little bit different but not noticeable when they're together these three bracelets how cute is that that was in that bag and also this this is a watch but i'm gonna wear it as a bracelet um the watch may work with the battery i don't know but i would prefer it as a a bracelet so that's how i'm gonna wear that and also it had in it these earrings again thrifted cute little pearl neck uh, bracelet i have several of those so i can cluster those and this ring i thought was really just cute i think that'll be a nice compliment to a few things for summer especially and this ring as well so i actually have a bangle to go that will match might be a lot for one arm but look at that so you never know where your look is going to be created from so when you start to look at things just look at them collectively and be open to where you make and find the piece um, but don't um, miss an opportunity based on thrift or consignment. Yes, it's used clothing, but before I bring a piece home, if it needs dry cleaning, I'm stopping at the dry cleaners. If it's going to be laundry, I'm stopping in the laundry room. And for shoes and accessories and jewelry and things of that nature, I bleach, I use wipes, sanitizer, Lysol, I do all of those things for my comfort. Um, I put my gloves on and just do different things. And at a price point of $4, even if I dunked this in water, in hot water, it was $4. Now, I would be a little upset about missing the piece, but for $4, I haven't really lost a lot. So there's lots of opportunities to sanitize and to clean things. So from this point, I'm going to show you a couple of outfits that I put together with some thrifted clothing and I think you're going to be surprised so at Easter I wore this jacket it's a Tahari jacket I used to wear a lot of Tahari back in the day and I still have a few Tahari suits but the detail here on the suit is what really grabbed my eye and I mentioned to you in another video that I really like Chanel as a designer. And this looked like a Chanel style jacket. I really like this style. It was $4. It was only $4. And as you can see in the photo, I pulled that look together with this jacket. Also, these shoes and this handbag so the only thing that was not thrifted was my skirt which did come from Cato and my top and I got that top online here is a jacket that was thrifted I kid you not this jacket was four dollars <laughs> I don't I don't know what the four dollar thing was about I don't really care but it's working for me so we're going to coordinate that with these pants. You've seen these pants before. I have a few of them, but we're going to pull that look together. Black and white, as you know, is my favorite two color combination. And when I saw this dress, it excited me. Got this dress at Goodwill. It's very cute. <clears throat> It looks good on and I'm going to do a couple of things with it so you're gonna see it like so and you're gonna see it with this top over it as another possible way to wear this I paid I believe six dollars for this dress 
how cute is that this top I've had for a while and it's from Kato you hear Kato a lot from me because over the years I've acquired quite a few Kato pieces I used to work there as a manager of several years back and my mom used to shop at Kato for me when I was a teen for several years I didn't shop at Kato but more recently with their price point nothing being over $50 in the store for anything for the quality Kato is a favorite of mine so you've seen this before in another video I got this at a local consignment store called Peace Pieces and I found this at Goodwill and this is going to be great for now or for in the fall and I love the asymmetrical hem on that great colors in that and this skirt I love flowy fabrics and this was $12.99 consigned and this was this was I want to say this was, it was under $5. I, I know that much. It was also from Goodwill. I got that the same day that I got these shoes. Um, my total came to $11 or $12. So there you have that. So we're putting that together. And with this, I am putting these shoes... They tie around the ankle, so you can tie them low or high. And these were from Cato, and I paid $7.99 for those on clearance, of course. And that's what I'm showing. So I hope you get a little bit of inspiration from the things that I've shown you today and that maybe in your travels you will come across something that you will find that will add some value to what you already have in your closet. One reason that I hit these places is because as I go different places day to day, if there's somewhere I haven't been before or if there's somewhere that I frequent, I just kind of pop in and kind of run through and see what's there. And almost always there's something that I want. So everyone, thank you for watching. Also visit my Instagram where you'll see if you look today, you will see the necklace that I have on and um, a few other options for my day-to-day -day looks. So please do while you're there, follow. And while you are here, do subscribe and share with your friends. There may be someone there that likes what you've seen and you can help them to add to their wardrobe. Everyone, I thank you and we'll see you the next time. Bye.